three skeps. Uh, but I don't want to harvest us to join ourselves in the vintage story world in my survival series. Um, and I wanted to basically just start in the B area, to be honest. Now, I've got, I think, three skeps. Uh, but I don't want to harvest them yet. Everything is harvestable. Large, harvestable, large, harvestable, so large. And I don't want to put any more out because I'm going to more skeps to replace them. So these can be harvested later. And my actual wild uh, beehive is still doing really well. Population size is large and there's plenty of flowers inside here. Uh, what I wanted to do today though, I want to somehow get into making bread. Now, I'm a bit of an idiot. Um, uh, um, I'm a bit of an idiot in general anyway, but um, I wanted to get into bread and I thought it was, you know, it was very, very convoluted and there's lots of things I needed to do and stuff, but there's not really. Uh, I need to make myself a quern, uh, which I can then ground, gr grind up uh, the um, wheat. I don't need to stop saying erm a lot. So, off camera, I've done a little bit of building. Now, this is incomplete yet, and this is a little greenhouse. So, I've got currently some glass in, but I ran out of glass. So, in between episodes, though, I have upgraded my tools. So, my tools are now tin bronze, which means I can now mine out quartz, uh, the actual popular solid chunks, because it's a tier 3, and these are tier 3 tools. So I've got a little bit of um, produce growing here. So we've got some um, spell growing here. Uh, we've got some more spelt and then we've got some onions. Then we have some flax as well. And we have some uh, parsnips. So I've been using the uh, onions and parsnips to make myself some, some good food, some hearty grub. I'll have a bottle of that, there we go. Uh, I think, oh that's rotten, oh I can't have that. But really, um, I wanted to also show you. Um, oh, got some of these as well. Might as well, might as well pick these up. I want to change out the. Um, oh, oh, I think I've got a full inventory. I wanted to change out the way I recorded these episodes. Now I have been kind of emphasising on the uh, montages, but I want to. I want to go just basically normal let's play of like jobs that I need to do in a, in a general day and stuff. Right, so let's empty out the inventory. I think I think that's the first thing I need to do. Medium fertility soil, which is like gold dust around my area. Everything's low fertility soil, but this is medium fertility soil. So I should be able to use all seven pieces. Most of what I've got is it's just low. It's just rubbish. It's just garbage. Uh, so put the wood away as well. Uh, put you away as well. So you, you, and you. Um, uh, you, you'll say I've also done a cell as well. This is what's also new. Uh, I've tried to concentrate all my resources in one area because I want to be able to access everything. So I'm using this as a storage, uh, also as a seller as well, uh, because I think it's, I think it's important just to consolidate all all my all my things that I've got going and everything that I've collected along the way in this series. Um, I wonder if I can make a composter. Let's have a C composter. Because I'm getting a bit of rot now. Compost. Compost. No. I thought it was called a composter. No. This one's called a composter. Maybe it's, maybe it's a mod. Maybe the composter is a mod then. Um, rot. Rot. If I click that, there's anything I can do with it. In a barrel. Hmm. So what, if I... Huh? Okay. I think I should be able to come out. I've only got two rot at the moment, so I'll put this away, away from anything else. There we go, put that there. Now, let me top up these. Control, shift in control. And I do need to make myself some more charcoal, but I don't want to yet. Okay, that's that one done. And we'll do one here as well. 
So yeah, I've got plenty of uh, firewood. And if I need to, I, I can use it for the charcoal as well. And I, and I need to put that away as well. So I haven't been attacked much, but I have done a bit of exploring as well. Uh, greenery. I'll put it in greenery. There we go. See what I mean by the actual um, skeps? Because I've only got four cattails, so I need to harvest a lot of cattails as well. So, let me take that out of there. So, yeah, I did this cellar, so I've dug it all out. Um, I put down the claystone cobble and the basalt cobblestone as well. And I've got some in my chest along here. And believe it or not, it is actually working. I, 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 I thought, my, I don't think it's going to work. But the, it is actually working for keeping everything to last a little bit longer. Which is super cool in my book. Right, so, to make the quern. So, let's have a look at quern first. Quern. Uh, quern. So, that's, uh, material is stone and two sticks. Now, in order to get the stone now, thank you for people in the comments for telling me how to just get normal stone. I should be able to make a, can I make a quern out of, hmm, what materials do you need to make a quern out of? Oh, quern, quern, not, not queen, quern. So, granite, andesite, basalt, peridot. Ooh. Now I've got the clay, but I don't think I'm going to make a quern out of that. So yeah, I've, I've freshened up in this area as well. I made this ages ago, this clay oven, which I can use to make the bread. And I can even make pies in it as well, which is quite cool. But I don't think I've got any basalt stone. Now the basalt is only over there. Let me just get rid of this drifter. Like, jerk. So I have managed to light up the area underneath, directly underneath my base, where I was getting a lot of drifters, but I'm still getting a lot of drifters anyway. Let's see if it's gonna give me anything useful. Oh cool, that's quite good. I like that piece, good stuff. Okay, we'll pop over to the basalts, which are just over this way. And that way I can, uh, I can just mine down some basalt stone to get a quern going. Now the quern will basically crush out all of the um, the grain so you can actually get flour out of it. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm hoping that's how it works. Um, <laughs> if not, this is going to be a really, really good episode. <laughs> right, so if I just dig down a little bit, what's that? Just, just gravel. But if I just dig down a little bit, do I have mine? No, I don't have mine. I was looking for my shovel. I don't know where that one is. I might take quite a while. I want, I don't want gravel basically. I just want stone. So the basalt stone, I think this is still sand. It's still gravel. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Let me just widen me out just a touch more. Ah, it's not what I wanted. Okay, so I'm going to have a few problems with uh, cave-ins and stuff, so that <laughs> I'm just getting owned that. I'll have everything, to be honest. I don't, I don't, I don't want to waste anything. So the, the days are super short at the moment because of the time of year. Right, so which way do I need to go? I need to go back. Uh, 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 is it this way? We'll see if we can make this corn. And then we can see if we can grind up some uh, some flour and maybe make some bread, which would be quite cool. Right, so you so we want the quern first. So so I got three stone, which is good. Do I have sticks? I've got plenty of sticks. So quern, quern, basalt quern. Oh, I wanted four stone. There we go. There we go. So we've got the foot. Yeah, more than enough now, more than enough. Right, let's, let's head on back again. So this is what it's like in Vintage Story. Is because it's because the game is so immersive, you you have a habit of having to do lots of different jobs. Now, I think it was you, and there was one there, and it was a stick and a stick. There we go. And there we go, one quern. 
Now, I am pretty sure, not 100% sure, but I am pretty sure the quern is, right, let's, uh, let's put you, let's put you here. Now, I'm pretty sure for the quern, you don't have to, um, You don't have to have it mechanized. You can you can just do it by hand, which is quite good. Let me get some. I, I don't need my tell this. I'll have some food myself. There we go. Bit in them. So I wanted my. Uh, the bit, uh, bit, I don't know. Uh, what should we go for? Spelt. I don't know how much it takes to make bread, so I'll take That's thirty-two great. to start off. Now what? Oh. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> what if it'll let me basically look up it will let me look up so um what is the bread one? How much bread can you how much bread can you make? So I want the spell one don't I? Spell bread. I'm guessing that will make the same amount. Okay, we've got water anyway, so oh, sorry, let me just keep on. Let's do um let's do nine to start. No, let's do ten to start with. Twelve. We'll do twelve to start with and see if we can do something with that then. Right, so eleven twelve. Okay, right, so I will take you out. Let me clear my inventory a little bit and put you up there and close you down. And I'll get rid of you up there, you up there, and you up there as well. So a nice clear inventory. Now I need a bucket of water. Thank you. And now I think it was back to the menu again. So spelt bread. So how do you make it? So a wooden bucket. Wooden bucket empty. Have some. Let me try it with the water because I I, I I can't see why you would how you could make a door. Oh, okay. It's nice and simple. So I made ten from one bucket of one bucket of water, which is actually quite cool, actually. Right. So now let's go downstairs and get some firewood. And we'll go. Gimme, 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 gimme. I don't know how much it takes, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna take quite a bit. Right, so now, so add wood. Okay. So that's all you'll do for that. Now light it. We do that. So that's lit. So it looks like that's ready. So if I do that, and then shift. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Right, so you can only do four at a time. And it actually shows it cooking. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, it's probably gonna burn if I don't watch it all the time. When it's ready. How do you know when it's ready? Uh, let me make some inventory space so I can take some so we'll take some, uh, let me put this bucket on the floor for a second. Uh, we'll put it over here. Put it over here, so we know what we're doing. There we go. Let's have a look. Temperature, do what, 246, 245. Part baked now. Well, that just tells you. It actually basically shows you when it's part baked. Which again is quite nifty. I'm guessing they want it fully baked, not part baked. Let me have a sip of coffee whilst I'm waiting for my bread to cook. And yummy. Spell bread. Right, so you, 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 and you. We might as well cut the rest of it. Go on, one, two, three, four. Temperature's still good. Um, 
Let's see how much, if it fills up me, uh, Oh, that's that's actually really good food. Right, I should so I should have turned before that bread's completely cooked. The next sections of bread's completely cooked to put some of these materials away. So I think it was that one. And I want to get rid of you, 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 and you. And this is what is this? Sand, gravel, stone. So. Bricks can take the stone, and we'll put the sand and gravel inside there. So you can go there. Now I would normally, you know, be into the whole let's do a windmill, but I've had a quick check over, and I don't have enough. Um, I don't have enough resources yet, namely the. Uh, the actual sails and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely certain I can make everything else because I've got. I got dirt there. Wait. You will run away. Yeah, jerk. Oh, is that cooked? Oh, it's cooked. Right. Let me have a. Um, eh. That's. So that's them cut. I wonder if it'll let me cook another the last two. But that's a really good food source. Now what I should have been doing, pretty much from, from the get go, um, I should have been starting to preserve some stuff because it's going to get winter soon. Now, on my world, is uh, my winters aren't as bad. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just because the way I set out the world to start off with. So I don't have overly bad winters. So a little bit about uh, what's going to happen going forward. Now I did bring out a Minecraft video which is out at the moment. If you want to have a look at that, where I'm going to be doing a few bits and pieces. Ooh, will it cook it? Don't know if it'll cook it or not. Oh no, 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 it'll cook it. It's, it's like this oven cooks a heck of a lot of things. Anyway, so I did bring out a Minecraft video, which is, doesn't seem to be doing particularly well. Um, and not particularly popular on the actual channel, which, okay, fair enough. Um, the Vintage Story ones is what most people seem to be interested in watching over. So that's how you make bread, I suppose. Grow the stuff. <laughs> oh, fine. Put it back. Give it back. There we go. I've got nine loaves. Some hearty food as well. So this is brilliant because I've been growing a lot of actually wheat and I've been, you know, I'm planting it, but I'm not really been using it and stuff. I can make tons of bread now. So fresh for 16 days in my inventory. If I was to put it in, say, this, how long does it improve it? Fresh for 83 days. 83 days, you know something. I think that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a load of bread for over winter. Because I've got, let's have a check over here. I've actually got an absolute ton of spell grain. We've got a little bit of rye grain. And I've been collecting obviously the onions and the parsnips. And the cranberries as well. A bit of honey. I've got the resin. The resin is important. It's just good I've been collecting this as I've been going along. Well, the resin is needed to make the windmill. So, let's have a quick check with the windmill parts. Windmill. So, the windmill rotor, yes, um, I've got that. I've got a. Oh. Type of, oh, it's fine. So, yeah, I've got a hammer, I've got a chisel, and I've got that and that and that. So, a windmill rotor is important. So, uh, back, sale, it's two, four. Now, I've only got three of these in a moment, so I can, I can, I can literally only make one sale. And I think you also need uh, some mechanical power. So, windmill rotors, at least at least four sales. Oh, so I'm, I'm a little bit off it, yeah. Axles and gears, back, so axle. Axel. 
Excellent. Am I spelling it wrong? There you go. What an axle. What, what, what do you need to do there? Chisel. Yep, I've got lumps of fat as well. That's fine. Uh, break. I'm guessing if you want to stop your windmill. Wooden toggle. Turn it on and off. Uh, wooden gear. Oh, that looks more tricky. No, but it's still doable. It's still doable. Even the large gears and stuff, they're all still doable. Back. So, what type of gears? I take it there's quite a few different types of gears as well. So, that's, that's, that's that. That's doable. Uh, gears. Angled gears. Now, I know I need, need angled gears. Again, I've got a chisel. Uh, yes, I've got all of these things. I've got all of these things, which is quite good. Uh, transmission as well. So yeah, I can make everything apart from the actual sails. So I think in the next episode, I think we should get the actual. Um, I think we should get the actual sails going. We'll get the windmill going now. A location. That's a good question. A location. Because what I have seen is that you need. Oh, little swine. Let me just deal with um, Mr. Rude by here. Thank you. Rude. Very rude. Yes, yeah, so I have. I have obviously my. Oh, nothing. Nothing useful anyway. So I have my spell groin. Now I have. I have sin that you do need to have a high ground. Only in a bucket. Cool. I, I, you know, I've, I've seen basically that the high. Whoa, there's a little army outside. Uh, let me just. Uh, that was a bit noisy. Nothing. What about you? Anything? There. <laughs> Sometimes it does this. Doesn't want to play. Ah, oh, fine. <laughs> I got rid of a few, a few of them anyway. I also did find a temple gear as well, which is quite cool. Um, I think I've done it right to set my spawn here. I think all I did was I put a temple gear and 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 then I basically like like sh like shift. I don't know what I did, but I, I clicked it on the ground and it made a noise. So I don't know whether that's, that, that set my spawn. I hope it set my spawn. I think that would be quite cool if it did set my spawn. I'm pretty sure that's what you use your gears for. Can I, can I, can I have you yet? Can, you know. Hello? Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. Alright, so what does that give me now? Let's have a quick check. So I'm keeping all my flax items here. So... I can use four of you and you can make one flax twine and then that can do that so I should be able to at least do one sail uh, you you and you and then we go and that's how you make a sail isn't it sail Oh, two. Two sticks. So, no. 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 <gasps> no! That's four sails! Right, let's let me have a quick check to see if I have enough time left in this video. Um, give me one second. Right, so, uh, we're running a little bit long on this video. So, I'm not going to be able to um, do the extra windmill in, in this one. But how about... The first thing we're going to do in the next video, I'll collect all the, all the stuff together first and we'll get a windmill going. How's that sound? That's it for me That's for it. today. Uh, and in the next episode, we'll build a windmill. How cool is that? All right, I'm going to go and enjoy my bread. I'm going to make a load of bread off camera as well. Okay, guys, uh, it's nice to see you again in British Story. Uh, hit the like button, uh, all that jazz, all the usual jazz. Follow, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye.